What's up, YouTube family? It's Dave Stone again with another exciting episode of Develop Awesome Skills. And I'm really, 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 really excited today, guys. I'm gonna tell you why. What you see behind me is the new Moringa Orchard. Can you see it with me? Can you vision it? 12 acres of mountain land, guys. We're gonna grow some Moringas up here. A lot of Moringas. It's 12 acres and uh, I'm gonna flip the camera around. But this up here, you see we already have electrical. Um, I'd like to go eventually completely off the grid, but it's nice to kind of have some electric if you need it in the beginning. It also has DSL lines, so we'll have internet so I could do some live videos up here. Um, but this right here is a little road that comes down into the property and right up on the top of that road, there's another road up there. And so this whole area, I'm gonna start with, we're gonna build some gabion walls uh, with all the rocks. We have a creek, a dry creek. But we're gonna build some gabion walls and we're gonna make some swales. And we're gonna green this area first. Um, and then right up here uh, up the road where the electrical is, I'm gonna show you because that's kind of where the property line is. So we're gonna definitely line all the streets and roads with moringas, get them nice and mature, fat trunks on them. You know, really nurture those ones. Don't cut them down to the base. Make them like more ornamental. We'll definitely still harvest. But there's the electrical boxes. But it's so beautiful, this land. Um, I have a really amazing respect for the desert. And check this out, guys. You can see that. These are massive fruits here. Huge. Huge fruits on that prickly pear, and they're all over. Make some prickly pear wine. <laughs> I did that one, one year, I made some prickly pear wine. I'm gonna flip the camera around. All right, so here it is. There's the road. A property goes all the way down, curves around, goes up to a road over there, and follows this hill all the way up to these houses over here. And then we go that way to this road, and then come back over. So, huge chunk of land. A lot of dirt to work with. And right down in there in the bottom, you see how green it is. That's a, a dry creek bed that runs whenever it rains. There's still water in it. So we have plenty of rocks to do these gabion walls. But we definitely get traffic. This is on the road to Crown King. So maybe we'll open a, a Moringa bar, something down here. But right down here, maybe put the facility, the initial structure, whatever we're doing. I'm up here at the top of the land. There it is, guys. The creek that runs through. There's the corner of the road. It goes all the way over here. So that's all gonna be moringas all along there. Might take a couple years to make it all happen, but I see the future. <laughs> there it is, guys. I want hashtag I want more moringa. <laughs> um so yeah, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys this property from the sky. Which guy? The sky. This guy. The sky. <laughs> That's it. Thanks for joining me on this video today. Uh, I hope you guys are excited as I am about this land. We are gonna grow a lot of moringas. We are gonna hit the one million moringas in five years, but I think we're gonna exceed it. 
we can plant a lot of moringas here. So, um, I'm gonna do this, a lot of experiments with this land too. So I'm gonna let you guys see uh, different methods and ways of planting moringas, and uh, what does best. So, till next time. Uh, develop awesome skills guys. So if you like this video share it share it with the world Give me a big green thumbs up and uh, Comment down below with any of your questions or comments or if you guys want me to do a different video on something else go ahead and do that, but uh, I, I Encourage you guys to plant more moringas, you know try the 30-day moringa challenge It's eating moringa powder every single day for 30 days You can put it in a smoothie in the morning instead of coffee a really good buzz but it's a nutrient buzz. It's not a jittery buzz and it won't drop you. So I haven't actually had coffee in the last two months and uh, I just drank some coffee today at church and I was, I, I felt it for quite a few hours afterwards. But anyways, I'm so excited so I didn't have a drop. But I'm gonna show you these prickly pear cactus real quick, these fruits, and then I'm gonna get out of here. But until next time, I love you all and develop awesome skills. Mmm.